after the EDSA revolution, uh, unang-unang festival na inisip ni Nick ay yung ano, IFBF, yung Independent Film and Video Festival na ginanap dyan sa Araneta Center. Tawag pa nung sa sinihan na yun ay Wave Cinema. That was 1986. Si Nick De Ocampo raised the bar. Scholarly siya eh. Bukod sa artistic siya, bukod sa yung kanyang imagination eh, pwedeng lumipad ng malayong malayong malayo. What kept him grounded also was his scholarliness his knowledge of history and facts. So, napakagandang kombinasyon. Visionary. Ten steps ahead siya mag-isip. Very dynamic, very active ang Moral Fund Film Institute under his leadership. Kung ano yung nararamdaman nating uh, boom ng mga indies ngayon, I would siguro vouch na matitrace mo yan dun sa pinagmulan ni Nick na movement. Si Nick ay, ay responsible for putting the idea of alternative cinema or what we now know as independent cinema in the forefront of the discourse on film in this country. He started pushing the idea of uh, independent film. Pero sasabihin niya not independent kasi alam niya yung history niya eh. Leaning towards the word alternative. Kung ano yung fruits na nakikita mo o nafe-feel mo ngayon sa dami ng mga indie filmmakers, you would trace it back to next time. Hindi matatawarin yung energy ni Nick when it with regards to this kind of conviction for a space of for the appropriate space of alternative filmmaking in the landscape of Philippine cinema. Si Sir Nick, sa tawag po ko sa kanya bossing. Marami kana matutunan naman sa kanya. Maamis ka po talaga na ang talitari ng nung tao na to. Kailangan po mayro kang three things to do araw-araw. Lagi ko po ahead. Kailangan malabak yung panganawa mo. Actually, he's aiming for education. Aside from being a filmmaker, a historian, gusto niya rin talaga na tutukan yung passion niya na magduro. Pinaka-exhaustive or probably pinaka-comprehensive so far ang nagawang periods of Philippine cinema. Na dati puro mga series of articles lang. In fact, wala nga tayong libro. Pinatalakay talaga ang kasaysayan ng pelikula sa bansa natin. Pero siya ay nag-out na siya ng three volumes. Gra grabe yung passion pag nakapunta siya sa ibang bansa. Yung talaga, isusulat niya talaga kung ano nakita niya itong document. He wants to spread the news, he wants to spread the history. Ang daming nagsusulat pero hindi pa talaga in-depth on the history of Philippine cinema. And that is his contribution. He knows that uh, as Filipinos, we have a lot to learn. May kailangan pa tayong matutunan. So, dapat yun. Yun talaga yung focus niya. Magturo at magturo. And then, paano gamitin yung pelikula sa pagtuturo? Kailangan hindi lang ang pelikula ay para libangan. Kailangan ang pelikula ay nagpapaalala sa atin sa kasaysayan at kalidad nitong pagkabansa natin or kung may kulang pa, ano magagawa ng pelikula para makatulong sa ating pagkamamamayan at sa pagbuo nitong bansa. Congratulations, Nick, dito sa award na ito. The highest award that the FDCP is bestowing on a filmmaker and it is so richly deserved by you. Nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa iyo. Uh, lahat na natutunan ko, siguro I owe it up to you. Alam ko naman po na talaga pong magaling ka po na, na bilang guro at saka historian. Sana din po lagi ka, po, um, lagi ka pong masaya. Lagi ka pong mag-iingat. Ang daming tao that can testify that they've been learning a lot from you. Alam ko, mahal na mahal mo yung pelikulang Pilipino. And uh, we are going to be with you all the way. You really deserve this one. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nick. It's a well-deserved award. Uh, validates your uh, commitment and decades of work for alternative filmmaking in this country and for a quality kind of Philippine cinema that we are now experiencing. Maraming salamat at congratulations.